guys um, doing this pond now. Um, I don't want to dwell on it too much because this is a big video will be online for a long time, so I don't want to confuse the issue. Um, but I will do a separate um, something on it um, next time. But this is the pond um, of the owner that won the Nexus 320. Um, so you will see a few little snug fits because the pond was initially going to fit a 220. Um, but when Andrew won it, he got the um, the 320 and we, we managed to fit it in. Now it's, um, it was a funny one really because this pond, this was a pond that we were already going to do for um, the client. We were all going to do the install. I'd already actually brought up all the pipe work before the competition was on. Um, so good for him, not good for me because he was going to buy one anyway. So a lost sale, but anyway, it's done and it looks great. Um, so anyway, this pond with filters around about 2,200 gallons. Um, really, really nice. I wish I'd have took some before pictures of the garden and everything. I might ask um, Andrew if he's got some because it was just when I first came around with the, it was that time when we were having all that really bad weather. I mean, one day I just had to, I just had to pull out the coming up here because the, the snow and the rain, it was awful. And it was just like a mud bath, this garden. But now it's just, a, you, you wouldn't even recognize it. Um, so the pond is roughly round about nine and a half foot by seven foot five foot deep um running on an Nexus 320 um and the skimmer is running back through a tempest um so i think this is the first um, this might be the first pond that's got a tempest on it that we've done so far from the outside one um so yes yeah, so we'll have a quick look i brought some fish up for today the first fish to go in there um but yeah it does they've done a cracking job they really have so but anyway let's have a a nice look at the pond And there it is. Lovely finish. When I got here now, the the owners were sat at the table having a drink, enjoying the pond. Well, it was an empty pond, but that's what it's all about, guys. That is what it's all about, enjoying the pond, especially in this weather. A few drinks, but yeah, superb. As you can see, the fish are in there, clambering to get out. But yeah, the pond has got um, two in water returns um, and then it's got so it's coming round this way you see so as I've said in other videos the skimmer is the last place there so hopefully when the water's coming in fast through there and it's going to slow 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 and then by the time it gets there it should be really slow and then it's going to catch them up in the skimmer so that was the idea and that's how it's working it's working really well um, really nice window, big size. And then obviously the filters are over there, which we're gonna have a look at in a second. I'm gonna take all the tops off and have a look. Andrew's Pond. Superb, done a lovely job. Tempest running. Don't forget this pond, it's, it's not had anything in it and it's already taken muck out. And it's not, not even been anything in it. He said that they have from the trees up here and everything like that, it's been taking it out no problem at all. So that's a really good thing. So we've got the two pump control units there, both running at 65. Super covers off. So as you can see, it was built originally for an Nexus 220. Um, but like I said, you know, it's um, when this opportunity came about to get this filter, then, you know, if you're going to win it, it's um, it's ideal. You know, we would have brought the 220 up there as, as the prize as well. But, you know, it's gone in. It's fine. The only issue with this one, right, is that... Um, is the waste on the nexus right but it's not a, it's not a big deal right so you've got the, the pipes down there right which is what you're gonna have to clean i mean there's no problem no way of getting there so what what he's done is he's just gonna on the waste valve on the waste line which is round here just one minute he's just simply put a valve an extended valve down there um, leave the Nexus valve open 
and then just put another valve down there which is fine so that's fine for cleaning but yeah that you know but apart from that i mean you know it's absolutely it fits snug as a bug in a rug so we'll go back round there's four inch coming in from the bottom drain this pipe here is from the overflow from the skimmer that comes round there and back into the waste and then there's the suction on the other side so four inch in don't worry guys you're coming out in a minute so the skimmer line's coming back through there into this pump and then it's coming out through the tempest back out and that is going over to the blade which is there and it's going out for another return which is down there so working well there's a good flow rate in the pond as you can see the fish moving round in the bag um, so excellent then you've got the other pump which is down there and that's returning just to one return back into the pond so two returns into that in the pond plus the blade um, now but the blade will be switched off you know when the colder months and stuff like that so everything's swirling around lovely in there so that's great so we've got the 55 watt uv and that's it a simple system but totally effective you know downside is that you know we can um, we can easily make a tool to close the valves and stuff like that down there but once everything's moved over to the other side which has got the other valve there everything can be done from the other side which is great uh, but yeah lovely I mean our installer did say Tim it's very tight but I think it fits perfectly You've not got no issues with it like I said once it's in it's in so it doesn't might make any difference but yeah fantastic right let's get everybody's favourite bit and let's get the fish in If you two stand here, then it's uh, great to see you. These are all one year olds, well, not quite one yet. Just get a quick, see how big um, the red carash is. 34. <laughs> Remember that. 34. For the next time when you're catching them, measuring them, you see. It's a big one. They're all they're just ridiculous. Control sign, toes eye. First one in. Side Another jumbo toes like a high food. Something else for you to worry about now, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, the last school.
that's it guys fish are in all happy customers happy now something to look at now when they're having a drink instead of just the water um, not too bad anyway just looking at water i could do it um certainly if i was in a beach somewhere looking at water that'd be nice round about now so anyway yeah the four fish have gone in for now um that's probably all it'll be um for another few weeks anyway just let it let them kick on with it let them crack on um, they'll get the customer will get used to the feeding regime they're going to get used to cleaning the filters and stuff like that and then they can start putting another few fish in so you know just a little bit of time there's never a rush for fish but yeah really impressed with the pond they've done a great job um yeah excellent so it's a 2200 gallon pond yeah i know you know people say oh you should have put an extra 220 on it it's nothing to do with that the you know why not put the 320 on when you didn't have to pay for it so you know but thanks for everybody for taking part in the competition and there will be some more prizes coming up soon um see what we can do next um maybe let me know if what people think we should be doing next time so and please don't say full pond builds but there you go guys so looking well it's on a 95 air tech as well on the bottom drain and the nexus um oh in fact to tell you what we've not done have we look at that hey what an error Hey, we didn't put our gel in, did we? Oh dear. Not too bad with only the four fish in. Bear with me, let me just turn it round. done there guys it turned turn the air on the nexus just to put more into the pond for now and we'll give that five minutes like I often say is that there's no need to put any gels or bombs or anything like in like that until the fish actually go into the system. Right, so that really is the end now. Forgot the gel. How about that? Right. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the pond. Um, out of interest just for people wanting to know the actual total gallonage was 28,000 gallons plus two tempests um, so we had three customers and we emailed them and then they gave me a guess from 1 to 99 and Andrew came in so that was it so anyway thanks very much guys thanks for entering I hope you enjoyed this pond gives a thumbs up please subscribe if you can um, and here's to the next one see you soon